yeah i think the for day the time is completed that's why so now i have created an instance over here and uh, hussein is both of both of you are there yeah yes i'm there yes okay so now we can make score plus plus and and then what we have to do we can also we can also destroy the game object the coin now we have to destroy the uh the coin for that i think we can i call think the, the game, yeah i think we name it coin only yeah right now we can make the basic thing actually over here you can learning the trigger enter the collisions and uh, how you are managing the ui and i will show you everything the basic thing you can see in this game and i think the, this is the last day for this game and from to the next next lecture we will be working on the 2.5d game yeah so this is what we want to be honest uh, yeah. please give me 5 minutes i'll come back uh, you can continue no problem okay hussein is you so can can we use destroy this or no can we we are using we can we can use both of things like game object dot set active is equals to false so no i mean i mean inside inside the destroy function can we use this yeah we can use bo both of them this is but if if the objects are too much so we we need to destroy because it no i mean i mean if if can we pass to the parameter destroy the word this yeah we can i think yeah this dot game object yeah we can use that this dot game object yes we can use this as well so so <clears throat> why do we not, why do we need dot game object why it's not just this maybe if, if we go with that it will work but the thing is we need to destroy the game object we we just we don't we don't need to destroy the script so this means okay. is is the, is the script but we want to com, com, uh, destroy it completely the game object this is the complete game object okay this is the okay. complete game object and this is the coin script where we have yeah this one this means this script actually so this dot game object means the complete game object uh, into the hierarchy okay so now when so now in the player i have to make a tag as a player i have to select a player tag now uh, i need uh, this okay now now the coin selector is not there okay so for that what we need what we do we go to the overrides and apply all and now you can see all the coins having the coin selector script okay and now when okay. and now when we hit the play button no it is working and you can see the ui manager the score is 2 yes now score is 3 so <clears throat> now what we need to do is we need to make a score uh, ui we want to show in the middle of the screen on the top of the screen top center and we can make it bigger like 30 and okay we can make it like this and now it is on the center so we can rename it to score and what we will do we just make a uh we just made a text public text and score txt that's it um 
whenever the score is updated, we have to make it from here. What was the name? Yes, can you hear me? All right, all right. Hapos, yeah. are you there? Yeah, actually, all my right. someone was calling me, so that's why. So you cannot see my screen, right? No, we cannot. So let me share my screen, and it is already in the progress. So once you see, you can tell me. And now yeah, we can we see. In the score. And the score is equals to this. And okay, it will not work like this. Okay. So now whenever the coin is selected by the player, so it will be displayed on the on the screen as well. So how, or how it will be updated to the screen. So now what we have to do, we have to assign the uh, score UI, the score text over here, score text. And then when we play it, okay. Yeah, so now the you can see the score is updated over here and the timer is also there. Timer is also uh, working. So now what we need to do is we can create some levels and I will show you this will be a fast work. Uh, we need to make a G manager, which will be a game manager script. And over here, you will be learning so much. So be don't try it and don't try and be, be give your best right now. So it will be a very, very inter interesting and very important script for the game. From this script, we will be man uh, managing everything. Okay. Over here, and we don't need a update method. Okay. We just need some basic things like uh, public game object. Uh, it will be an array and it will be levels. So we can stop for the prayer time. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Uh, you want to break because uh, we passed the prayer time. So if you want to, there's no problem. We can wait for you for 10 minutes or something. If you want to go for a prayer, then you can go, guys. We, we, we passed the time for praying. In our country, it's 3 o'clock. We prayed, we finished. Okay. Yeah. I don't need a break. It is just uh, azan time, and after azan there are fifteen minutes to for the prayer. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So now I have. Uh, so we can continue. Okay. So yeah. let me let me tell you. We have the levels. We have something like the transform dot. Transforms start position. Okay, something like this. Okay, and um, this is fine. And the current level, public integer current level. That's it. Okay, these three things are very important for all the game. How many levels are there? How many? Uh, for each level, we will we will be changing the position of the player. Okay. okay, so if if the current level is one, okay, so what will happen? What will happen is, uh, okay, we will make a method, uh, public void open level, okay, and we will call it from the first uh, line of start button, and under that. Uh, method 
we will open the level so level levels and the uh, number of the current level dot set active is equals to true okay and okay the player should be we have to assign the player as well public transform we because we have to change the player position player okay. so now whenever the player dot position is equals to okay the start position start position okay okay we have to make a new vector 3 because it takes three parameters new vector 3 and then start position dot current level dot x no current level dot position dot x okay and the same x y and z as well okay x y z make a comma over here and over here we can make a y axis and that's it x y z close the braces and that's it so now what is happening the player position will be changed to new vector three a new three positions will be there and the object we have already created the start position is there so it will uh, it will assign the current level the number of the level will be there and the position of that level okay so x y z of that object it will be getting that object actually and now i will show you okay the, these two things is, is done we have changed we have opened up the level this will open a level it's open up level okay and this will change the this will change player position as per level okay so now i will create some levels of coins so for that to open your eyes as much as you can and focus on oh, the screen yeah. <laughs> And focus oh, on the screen nice. what i'm doing what i'm doing okay so what i will do for start three levels i will create a game game object and we can call it levels okay and we can make it zero 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 and we can drag and drop these things into levels and now once again i will create a new game object under this level and I will call it level one. Okay. And I will drag all the things into the level one. Okay. And I will duplicate this too. And then I will again duplicate this. Now you can close the level one and you can open the level two. And over here, we can select these three objects and duplicate them. And we can change the position of these three objects like this. And again, we can change the, we can duplicate the level two. And again, we can select some of the uh, coins and duplicate them and change the positions. So now there are three levels, okay? And all of these levels are closed. Now you cannot see any coin, okay? And now yeah. uh, we can create a start position as well. So I think uh, we can create our here. So we can, for that, what we will do, the start position is start position. Okay, like this and one, two, three. And remove this one. Start a position for the first level is this. You cannot see, but this is an empty game object. Okay. <laughs> The second one will be from the right and the third one will be from the left. And now in the game manager script, we will tell we have total three levels and three starting positions. 
okay and the first level is level one we have to assign like this level two Sorry, how did you put the stuff ah okay okay we have created a script over here yeah yeah i remember and the start position from there number one number two and number three you just the game in the the basic thing in unity game development is the to create a game object first of all you have to make a logic okay first of all you have to make a logic and then you just have to make a game object into your in your script and then you have to assign uh, that game objects into that script and uh, do whatever you want to do from your script and now the player i have to assign the player now and what uh, so we can remove this thing because i want to change it from the uh, game okay so whenever the game is started okay yeah zero okay 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 game manager okay so the current level is one if current level is zero it means one okay because the array is started from zero you can see it is started from zero so now when we hit the play button so you can see the player position is there the player is there this is the exactly same position of the start position okay and now if i go with uh, the second level which is one so the the ball will be start from the start position number two now you can see okay and the level two is open up so that's how we can create now you can see one two so now do you understand the idea the thing is of the game manager it will take care of the all the levels you want to open in the scene and it will take care of the position but the both of them are are, are dependent on the current level it will open as per the current level is understand all right okay right so yeah. what we need to do what we need to, what else we need to do is uh, we need to make a okay a panel and we can call it panel already okay we can call it level fail uh yeah. We can go with the image. We can make it bigger. Go with the two D. Uh, like this. Change the color. And we can make a text. And make it white. We can call it level fill. Okay okay centerize it and why and now we can make a button okay we can call it retry and the home button it's simple so now you can call it level fail panel okay and we also need a uh, background actually uh, a panel because it will cover the complete complete screen and we can make it black something like that 
and we can make it like minus five, minus five, minus five to fix the corners which it was showing. So now what we will do? So we will, what, what we will, is what did you add? What is the panel? Uh, this the the black is the background screen actually. The background oh, screen. Oh. This one. This one. It's an image. This is an image actually. Yeah. Okay. This is an image. This is one thing. This is an image. But because whenever the level is failed, so user cannot access to the uh, joystick. Yes. Because this image will be uh, upside of that thing. Okay. So yeah. we can call failed panel. Okay. And we can also make a success panel. Yeah, we can. I will upload this project uh, to tonight and I will uh, share it with you. And then you have to make some pra basic practice. Okay. Okay. So okay. just turn it, turn it off. And under the UI manager, we have to make some uh, objects of these things public game object and level uh, fail panel comma level success panel that's it and now when okay the targeted score we have to make a method okay public wide no public wide check score okay and in this class, what we will do if score is equals to is greater than and equals to targeted score. So what will happen? Uh, level success panel dot set active is equals to true. Okay. And if the timer means it's gonna jump for the next level. Yeah. And if the timer is less than zero, less than or equals to zero. Okay, the rapture is ready. If the timer is zero, then level fail panel dot set active equals to true. Okay. And we also have to make a public wide retry public wide retry button press. Okay. And in this class, we need to refresh the level. So for that, we have to use the Unity Engine dot scene management. Okay. And in the retry button press scene manager dot load scene and we can call it one and for the home button uh, home button press we can make it zero because the home scene in build index is zero i can show you once again so you can uh, remember over here in build setting you can see the main menu index is zero and gameplay is one so what I have done over here, whenever the retry button is pressed, so the load scene will be one, okay? So it will be refresh. Everything will be re refreshed. So now when total time is 60, now let's make it 10. And if, okay, I have assigned, I have not assigned the file panel and the success panel, okay? And now let's play game and it will open up the desired level the level which we have we have selected from the game manager it will open it up and the time current level working. one yeah current level now the the time is uh, zero is less than zero so level is failed yeah yeah so now what we have to do is in under the failed level we have to assign the method like this, retry button and add UI manager 
and home button press and success panel okay Okay, so it will be a next to, I think, next level or home, okay? So for that, we can make a next, okay? But right now we are working with the fail method and uh, time, 10 seconds is fine for me. And let's see if uh, the scene manager is working or not. So it is eight, nine, seven, five, four, three, two, one, one, and zero. Okay, so if I press the retry button, so once again, you can see the game is restarted. Okay. The game is restarted. Now, if I press a home button, then you can see we came back to the home. And if I hit the play button, you can see everything is coming from here. So now what else we can do? We can set the timer as well from the level. Okay, if, if current level is equals to one, then do these things like uh, ui manager dot instance uh, dot uh, time total time is equals to 40 so it will be 40 and you have to make a script and so on like level two and you can make timer to 60 seconds and for it's by default uh, these seconds right by default yeah but now it, it will be uh, we can start it from the zero because the zero is one level and one is two uh, level and the two is three third level like this and now i think when when i change the level from the game manager like the game uh, if i set the two so the ui manager uh, time will be increases as per the level. Right now it is done. Now you can see it started from the 80 over here. Yeah. So that's how you can manage all the things. Okay. And let's see the targeted score. The targeted score should be if we have to check it from here as well. If the level is three, the targeted score, okay, we have to select this one and dot the targeted score is equals to, okay, is it three? Okay, and now when the coin selection is happening and we have make a check score method. So now we have to check the score from here as well. So for that, what we will do, we will copy the instance like this, and we will call the check score method. And now, and now what will happen? If the level is zero, the target score will be three. And if the level is one, the target will be six. And if the level is three, the target will be 10 as per your requirement of the game. So it will be changed. So now, yeah, Let's the see. targeted score is 10. Okay. Okay. And let's start from the first level. The first level is zero and hit the play button.
and let's select uh, get the three points one two three now you can see the level is success yes yes okay so no more than that so i think that's all from today's lecture if you have any questions you can ask some things are uh, some polishing are there but i will think i think we can do the polishing work in next lecture maybe in in half an hour in half hour maybe if you have any question regarding any script and the flow the thing is the main thing is the logic of the game how you manage the total time how you manage the targeted score as per the yeah. level the main thing For i want me, to, i want okay. you to understand this thing yeah and actually for but, me i'm going to try this one uh, can you send this lecture for us today or? yeah tonight i will send you i will send it to you tonight great great i'm going to work on this one practice or by tomorrow yeah. or something if i have any and, questions maybe i'll send it or i'll just write it down and uh, on the next lecture okay that's great